This is Mercury Control. The countdown for the MA-7 launch is now T-minus five minutes and counting. On the basis of the present situation, the launch should occur at about 7.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. All elements of the Project Mercury operation have reported that they are in a go condition for the flight. The Atlas, the Aurora 7 spacecraft, the pilot, Scott Carpenter, the launch team, the tracking network, the recovery forces, and now even the weatherman has given us a go. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 3, 2, 1, 0. Uh, Roger. Roger, Aurora 7, stand by for uh, your time hack. Roger. Go for that shaking. Face the war. Three, two, one, mark. Roger, the backup clock has started. Uh, Roger, or sir. Bare blue sky. 32 seconds, 9,000. Fuel and oxygen steady. Cabin pressure, 51 and dropping. A little rough for a max Q. One minute. Uh, Roger, you're looking good from here, Scott. Roger, you're looking good. Mark, one minute. Cabin pressure is on the schedule. Fuel and oxygen are steady, 24 amps. All the power is good. Uh, Roger, pitch is 56. You look real good. Roger, my pitch looks good. Smoothing down a little bit now. Feel the pitch program starting over. Roger. The sky is getting quite black at 1.30. Elapsed. Fuel and oxygen is steady. Cabin pressure is leveling off at 6.2. 22 amps and the power is still good. A 1 CPS sway in yaw. Uh, Roger, understand. Pitch is 37. You look real good. Stand by for staging. Roger, there's Pico on top. And uh, Roger, understand, Pico. Roger, I felt staging. Do you confirm? We confirm staging. Do you confirm staging? Aurora 7, we confirm staging. Stand by for tower. Tower is way out. It's gone. The light is green. Going over the big go check now. Uh, Roger, Aurora 7. Go check is complete. Uh, Roger, understand. Pico check complete. Is that correct? That is Roger. Three minutes, fuel and oxygen are still steady. Cabin is holding 5-8. Power still looks good. My status is good. Uh, Roger, uh, pitch mi minus two and a half, and you're right on. You're good. Roger, reading you loud and clear, Gus. Ten seconds to go. Okay. There is Pico, deposit grade fired. I am weightless and starting to fly low our turnaround. Stamp is good. Roger, you look good down here. Periscope is out. And Aurora 7, we have a go with better than 7 over capability. Uh, Roger, sweet words. Uh, Roger. Okay, turnaround has stopped. Uh, I'm pitching down. I have the moon in the center of the window. And the booster off to the right slightly. Uh, Roger, understand. My bar wire is good in all axes. My pitch attitude is high. Coming down now. Uh, Roger, understand. Roger. The control system on the fly bar wire is very good. I have the booster in the center of the window now. Tumbling very slowly. Uh, Roger, R7. We understand. You sound real good. This is Mercury Control. Astronaut M. Scott Carpenter and his Aurora 7 spacecraft are now in contact with our Mouche Australia tracking station. Contact was made at 8.35 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is Mercury Control. The Aurora 7 spacecraft made contact with our tracking station at Guaymas, Mexico at 12 minutes after 9 Eastern Standard Time. 
Hey, how is your temperature, Comfort? Over. Roger, my body, uh, uh, comfort is good. I am tracking now a very small particle, an isolated particle. About there is another very small. I uh, could be a a light snowflake. MCC recommends that you uh, start to conserve your fuel a bit, and maybe perhaps use a little more of your manual fuel. All uh, right. Mark, Coastal Passage, coming over the uh, Baja. Uh, Roger. How does it look? Half covered with clouds, and uh, and the other half is dry. Will you pass on uh, this message uh, for me, Gordo, to all the troops at uh, Wyman? Roger, will do. Uh, amigos, felicitaciones. México y especialmente a mi amigo de Guaymas. Desde el espacio exterior, su país está cubierto con nubes y uh, uh, es also se me fue pelo. Aquí el tiempo es muy bueno, buena suerte desde Aurora 7. Ah, Roger, muchas gracias, amigo. This is Mercury Control. The Aurora 7 spacecraft made contact with our Bermuda tracking equipment at 9.25 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and at 9.33 with our Canary Islands tracking station. He reports his fuel supply and oxygen supply are approximately normal. We are watching the fuel supply very closely, however.